Evening, I'm Jim Williams. Dual protest against police in Chicago today. Two different groups with the same demands. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is live at Whitney Young High School, where one protest just ended. Stephen. Hey Jim, yeah, these two groups came together separately. Each location they were at held significance. They later gathered in a showcase of solidarity and in a peaceful way to demand that police be defunded. I wanted to bring the defund Chicago police debate taking center stage at Whitney M. Young High School, an institution named after a civil rights leader. You're going to tell me that this is a college preparatory school and I can't go outside to go to lunch without being followed by the police. Students urging that school resource officers be taken out of Chicago public schools, saying funds should go to jobs like librarians. What's it worth when I'm too scared to ask an SRO? to move out of a space in the library so that I can complete an assignment because my hands are shaking. Some of these young people speaking fresh off of clashes with officers last weekend. Pushed me over so hard I didn't have to hit the ground to get a concussion. That's how y'all have who y'all have in our schools. Defunding the police looks like giving people like me the possibility to go to grad school so that I can be on a therapist so I can work with these black people that are working in the streets every day. Yes, yes, we must divest. Earlier feet from here, another protest, same idea. We have to be committed to uh, holding people accountable. Students and staff with the University of Illinois at Chicago gathering in front of the chancellor's home. Anonymous and free services to UIC students. They want to meet with him and the school to end its contract with university police. Been privy to reading reports um, about UIC police where you know they haven't had the best interactions with students. With all of the things like George Floyd happening over the summer, it's really just kind of amplified everything. There were a lot of people who said abolish slavery. No more slaves. Y'all sound crazy. That's how we sound right now saying abolish the police. Right. So it is and so it shall be. And Jim, police say that their response is always to make sure people are safe as they express their freedom of speech. They said the same went for today. The group again marched around the school, ended this dancing in the street. Police followed closely in small numbers behind them. Again, though, ending peacefully here. Reporting live at Whitney Young High School, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thank you.